guys, welcome to Jason Kids. What I've got here today is a Casio G-Shock GW9400 range mat. It's a hugely popular model, and uh, I've got a few of them here. I've got the uh, the NV right here. I've got the the BJ right here. This one needs a charge, actually. And then I've got some other things like a leather strap and a bracelet, a nylon. Anyway, I'm going to put some of these on and show you how it all looks. I promised someone that I would do a video about this with the Jason K's metal for 16 millimeter lug G-Shock. And so let's get going. We're going to do this real quick. There's some other videos that show you a little more in detail of what we got to do. But what I've got here is a size zero Phillips. And we're going to use that to pull this Phillips head screw off. There's two on each side holding the strap. So we'll just pull those off real quick and then we can see how that strap connection is and how the Jason Case metal is going to fit right up in there. So I'm just going to do one side real quick here. We'll pull that out. Grab the Jason Case metal. There's your lug. It's about 16 millimeter wide and this is this adapter is designed for a spring bar application but it fits this model really well so uh, we use it and I want to show you what it looks like so let's get this side in we'll screw this guy back down just snug it down you're threading into that plastic lug so once you've hit snug that's all you need to do so let's screw that in and there you go there's one side that's screwed in nice and tight and there's your lug right that's the Jason case metal adapters for 16 millimeter G-Shock you can have a good look at it right there and then I'm going to do this other side and we'll come right back to you. Okay, I got both sides on here and you can see, uh, check it out if you want. So that's what it's going to look like with the lugs. I uh, don't have a strap on yet, but um, before we go any further, let me show you how we get some bull bars on this. These are Jason K's bull bars for 9400. And on this particular model, I hook them on the sensor side first so we don't get it caught in the ribs when we're pushing it over. And you'll see why. Just drop it on over. Boom. There you go. Here's your Jason K's bull bars on that range mat. And um, let's slap, say, a leather five ring Zulu on this so you can see what this is all about. And I'll show you how to put a two piece on this. So we get guys asking me, hey, uh, I know you sell these for two piece straps, but can I run a one piece? And absolutely. Why? Because we have the spring bars on it here, right? So it's functioning like just a regular watch with uh, lugs running spring bars. But anyway, anyway, here we go with the, the five ring. Let me squeeze this through. It's kind of a new strap here, so pull this through, and there you go. That's what it looks like. So you have these, the olive on that, that brown for the, uh, kind of the earth tones look pretty good, I think. But uh, let's say you didn't want to run that. Maybe you want to run something different, like an olive strap. I've got a nylon right here. So here you go. Let's say I want to drop this guy on here. All right, no big deal. So let me just go ahead and pop these spring bars out. We've got drilled lugs on these, so real easy to push out the current spring bars. Dismount a strap if you had. I've got spring bars in these straps, so we'll just go ahead and run with that. So if you guys want to see some of this in real detail, um, more than we're showing here, you can have a look at some of my other videos. We get into the depth of, of that a little deeper, but I'm just kind of running through this for the sake of time. This is kind of a special request from someone who wanted to see these. So I've got, you know, all this stuff here laying around the shop. These are watches I wear quite often. But there it is. There's the 9400 uh, in the olive with, say, an olive nylon. This is a two-piece sort of NATO-style um, strap that I like. But there you go, guys. If you want to see it with a bracelet, uh, I've got a shot up on the Instagram. I'll go ahead and throw that up here in the in the video. If you need to see some of our our, uh, our original video on the range man with the standard adapters, I'll put the link right up there in the corner. You can have a look at that. And that's about two years old. But anyway, if you've got any questions, comments, I'd love to hear about them. Let us know. Just like, subscribe. Talk to you later.